Hi, and welcome to the Hoop Scoop. I'm probably right. The USA Women's Basketball Committee has released its selection for the 2024 USA Women's Olympic team in Paris. The players that we believe have been snubbed are all guards. So let's recap the list of guards that have been selected. Chelsea Gray. Chelsea has been out this year with injury. Her last year's season stats are 15.3 points, 4 rebounds, 7.3 assists, and 1 steal. Next, Kelsey Plum. Averaging 19.3 points, 1.7 rebounds, 4.9 assists, 1 steal, and is shooting 39.3% from 3. Next, we have Sabrina Unescu, guard for the New York Liberty. This year, averaging 17.8 points, 4.4 rebounds, 5.5 assists, and 1 steal, and shooting 37.4% from 3. Diana Taurasi, DT, from the Phoenix Mercury. This will be her sixth year in the Olympics. She has won gold in the Olympics in 2004, 2008, 2012, 2016, and 2020. This year, DT is averaging 16.6 points, 4.8 rebounds, 1.6 assists, 0.7 steal, and is shooting 36.2% from three. Next is Jewel Lloyd from the Seattle Storm. This year averaging 20.3 points, 6.5 rebounds, 3.6 assists, and 1.1 steal, and is shooting 29.3% from three. Now, time for our snubbed list. The biggest snubbed, the most egregious snubbed, Dallas Wings guard, Arike Ogumawali. Arike is averaging 26.4 points, 4.5 rebounds, 5.5 assists, and 3.2 steals, and the shooting 34.8% from three. The next question is, who will Arike replace? For me, outside of Chelsea Gray, because of the experience, and you do want an experienced guard there, and maybe even Jewel Lloyd, because you want an experienced guard there again, and Jewel is absolutely killing it, I'm selecting Arike over Sabrina, Kelsey, Diana, and Jackie. Yeah, so for me, big snub. I do not understand how Arike has not been selected. That's my biggest snub player. Caitlin Clark. Averaging 16.8 points, 5.3 rebounds, 6.3 assists, 1.5 steal. Having a down three-point shooting average this year of 32.7%. Caitlin usage is through the roof. There are games she has not left the floor. And she's being picked up from the point. So to say that she's receiving a lot of pressure, pressure she won't necessarily get in the Olympic Games and her ability to pass, even if she does receive the pressure, bears some consideration or a lot of consideration. Okay, now, who will Caitlin replace? A lot of you would say Diana Taurasi, but because Diana Taurasi has so much Olympic experience, I would not necessarily select Diana Taurasi. The person I would replace would be Kelsey Plum. Kelsey Plum numbers does not scream at me, and uh, Caitlin can do what Kelsey can do as far as shooting the ball. Kelsey can probably get to the basket better than Caitlin, but I believe Caitlin is a better passer and definitely a better three-point shooter, especially with open opportunity baskets. The next person that deserves some consideration would be Minnesota Lynx, Kayla McBride. Kayla is averaging 18 points, 2.9 rebounds, 3.5 assists, 1.5 steal, and is shooting an insane 51.2% from three this year. Who would I replace for Kayla McBride? I do not know. Just because Kayla does not have the experience, but I just wanted to call her out. So Kayla McBride, should someone go down or whatever? If there's a spot for um, alternatives, Kayla McBride should be considered. To recap my snub players, Dallas Arike Ugomowali. Outside of Chelsea Gray, I am taking Arike over all of the other guards selected. Caitlin Clark. For what Caitlin brings, she definitely can take Kelsey Plum's spot. Let me know what you think. Do you have any players that you think are more deserving or should have been selected? Let me know in the comments. As always, comment, like, subscribe to help us grow the channel, and we'll see you in the next one.